Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am going to be showing you guys my beauty room and also my makeup collection. My beauty room is this room that you guys always see. It's where I film in. And I just want to throw out some disclaimers before we get started. That first, I am not trying to brag or show off or anything like that. If you know me in person, that's like the last thing I'll ever do. This video was requested from a couple of you guys, so I thought why not show you guys and give you guys some inspiration. I Ideas. and that's just the whole purpose of this video is just for inspiration and some ideas. I am super grateful and super lucky to have this whole entire space just to film and keep my makeup in. I'm, I don't take that for granted at all and I work very hard for my own money which leads me to my second point. I do live with my parents but that's about it. I don't use any of their money. I work for everything I own so everything you see in this room has been bought with my own money. I have a part-time job on top of my YouTube so everything I own is me working my ass off for it so don't get it twisted I'm not trying to show off or brag or whatever it was requested and also I love watching these videos to get more inspiration for myself and then saying that I love my parents this is still their house there's only so much I can do so I still gotta like follow some of my parents rules like you'll see that there's a curtain that's blacked out like it's just you know, it's not my own home. My bedroom is always changing and it's not where I want it to be exactly. But for now, I'm liking it and I like how it looks. From this time last year, it was a bit different, but yeah. So those are the things I just want you guys to keep in mind going into this video. But yeah, if you guys want to come along on my little tour for my beauty room and check out my makeup collection, then just continue watching. So this is the overview of my room. I'm just in the corner and then I'm gonna show you guys my makeup collection. But let's go around the room first before I show you that. So I'm in the corner here and this is the door. This is the door to the living room um, of my house. And then if we pan along, I have this mirror here. It's from a warehouse. It's originally 150 or 120, but I got it on sale. I got it for 50 bucks. And this is me, hi guys. I just love the detail of the mirror and I've always wanted a mirror like this. So it was a great bargain that I got it for $50. And this is where I take my OOTDs if I want to take a mirror OOTD. So I take that here and then down here just have my laptop charger and um, a Canon battery charger. Um, this is just like a random curtain. My mom just put it on. I don't really know about that. Then we move into this corner here. This is where I keep all like my filming stuff that I don't use. Over there, that's my like reflector. It's like gold on one side and then silver on the other side. I have my camera bag. I just have like my boxes for my mic, which that mic actually broke. It's like the Samsung. That's the brand, Samsung. Um, it broke, but I just leave it there because I did get it as a gift from my boyfriend. Just have my Canon box there. I have my Joby tripod here. I don't use that one too much. The one I'm using right now is the one you're seeing here. This one is the Manfrotto one. And then over there, that's just a stabilizer. I don't even use it. I got it off eBay for like 40 bucks. I've never touched it. That bag is for my ring light, just in case I want to travel with it. And then over there, those three rolls are backdrops. I used to use backdrops for a couple of videos like last year, but I don't know, I just, I don't like it. I just like my background to be like a background, so it feels more homey. Over there is just a charger for my camera battery. And then, then over there is just tile. Sometimes I like to take my flat lays on those tiles, but I don't really use it that much because it's quite heavy to like keep putting it away that kind of stuff okay so this looks better you guys can actually see something oops I forgot to mention that clock it's from Kmart it's really pretty the time's not working it's just for decoration purposes but it's like a marble clock it's really cute so I have two soft boxes here that I put on my left and right hand side and then I also have a ring light here that's the lights I use to film and this is also my tripod and then so that's all my lighting so what we've seen so far is that side of the room and just moving back a little bit this is my little vanity where I put my makeup on so the rug it looks like two different colors because I got this one last year and I got this one just on boxing day so the color is a little bit different but they are the same shade I feel like that one's just got a little bit dirty because I've had it for a bit longer and I just got this one so it's more clean but they are the same shade like once this one gets a little bit dirty I think will be good but I just feel like this room needed another rug and I feel like when I take my outfits 
it just it looks better you know what I mean so I got that from spotlight the rugs both of them and spotlight usually does have sales so I would recommend going when they have sales 20% off I got mine for 50% off so it was about $60 for each rug which is awesome that's my chair the one I used to film as well and put my makeup on I feel like it's not really a chair I feel like it's like a footrest but I like my chairs to be quite low that's why I use it I don't know where it's from my mom got it for me and it is quite dirty if you guys can see all those foundation marks um, but yeah, it just works for me right now and it just, it's easy. And then we move on to my vanity. This I got from Victor's Choice. You know you can get something similar like I guess from Ikea, that kind of stuff. But if you are out in East Auckland, um, they are in the hub, Victor's Choice. I'll write everything down below. But yeah, if you're in East Auckland in New Zealand, that's where I got it from. It was like 120 I think. So it's pretty good for like a nice white simple table um i'll show you guys the drawer later with the makeup collection but this is where i keep some of my makeup but let's just close that i'll show you guys a bit later i'll show you guys what's on my vanity table real quick so i got this kylie palette here that i'm going to be doing a video on i'm just trying it out so i keep it on top so i have my makeup brushes in all these cat mugs i'll show you guys properly in more cutaways but i keep my eye brushes here and the other two are my face brushes i have a tissue box of course some lip balm and lip gloss that's where usually where i put my beauty blender but um it's in the bathroom right now because i just washed it then I have this acrylic case. I got it from Daiso. Yeah, I got it from Daiso. And it, I just keep, this is like what I keep in here. So I keep my cotton pads, cotton birds, keep blue tech and some sponges. You know, scissors, tweezers, eyelash glue, lip glosses, lip pencils. Then I keep a pen and scissors here just to open packages in case I want to write something down. And in here, I usually keep the primer and foundation, like my everyday primer foundation I usually keep it in here I bought a pencil case and it came in this box so I just used it and this is where I keep my makeup remover face spray eyelash curler eye cream eye pencil sharpener and this is where I keep my go-to ColourPop eyeshadows I don't know where else to keep it I don't really know how to store that so I just leave that there and then I just have blue tech there just you know just cuz and then I have this mirror here I kind of forgot where I got it from I feel like it's from farmers but you can get these kind of mirrors like almost everywhere but it's like double-sided so like the other side is more zoomed you know what I'm saying and this side is not I only use this side um, so yeah that's really nice I always use it for all my makeup tutorials and then we have here is my lash story like it's like an eyelash holder from house of lashes if I can open this so pretty much you can just hold your eyelashes in here instead of keeping it in the box like I used to I feel like it's really convenient but the only bad thing about it is that you don't know which lash it's called so I keep this paper in here so I know which lash I'm using just in case I need to mention it in one of my videos so that's that and then we move down here this is just my rubbish bin got it from the dollar store super cheap and now we're moving to this shelf this shelf I got from Kmart it was like 50 bucks Kmart has some really good stuff there for decent prices so let's go layer by layer so I got these lanterns a while ago from Typo they have a lot of different patterns on them but I got the ones with the gold polka dots I'm not the best person for decorating but it's just clean I didn't try too hard on this shelf it's just there so on the top shelf I just have that Ralph Lauren box I got it for Christmas I have this furler handbag that I also got from Christmas two years ago I got some DVDs and then this fake plant is from Kmart got that cat as a birthday gift we're moving down this is where I keep my jewelry I have a perfume there that I got as a gift in that box my mom gave it to me just some more jewelry and this is where I keep all my nail polish stuff. So we have some nail polish, nail varnish, and cotton buds. This jar is from Daiso. Just got a frame of me and my boyfriend over there. And another perfume that I got as a gift as well. It's quite messy. Going down, this is my, my tech shelf. Um, that's just hit the box for the headphones. Another lens that I never use. Polaroid printer. The original Polaroid. Um, a coin purse. Uh, if you guys watch Naruto, you'll know what that is. But it's a coin purse. That cat thing is a lamp that I got as a gift as well. This thing here, my mum, I don't know what she did. She just put it there. And then on the bottom shelf, I just have my makeup kit that I used to use when I used to go to the makeup school when I was training to be a makeup artist. And that's just like a Morphe brush holder. I don't even use this stuff. It's just like for storage. And then if we're moving along, you see my clothing rack. 
This clothing rack is pretty simple. It has wheels so you can move it. Clothing rack is from Kmart and yeah, the clothes, obviously this is not all my clothes. I have it in my bedroom which is through that door. But this is where I keep clothes that are new that I want to take outfit of the days of or I need to show you guys in a clothing haul. This is where I keep mostly like my new clothes or outfit ideas, that kind of stuff. And then we have my caps. This cap is from Misguided. It says good vibes on it. This one is from Polar Ralph Lauren. This one is from Stussy, as you guys can see. And the bottom one is from Nike. Then I have a little hook here that I just hang my belts on. As you guys know, these are just some clothes that I want to take outfits of. These clothing hangers are nothing special. My mom just got them from me. Bagani used to be a store here in New Zealand, but it closed down, so maybe they were giving away their hangers or something, because you can see it has like size 16, size 18 on it. I don't know, but it works for now. On the bottom here, there's two rails. I guess it's for shoes, but I don't know. I live in an Asian household. We don't wear shoes inside, so I don't keep shoes in my room. So I put my bags there. Those two are both um, from Michael Kors. The pom-pom is from Once It. Both of them were gifted to me for my birthday. And then on this end, I have a fedora hat because I this is like my go-to hat. It just spice up any outfit. And then here I have like some nipple covers. It just has like a little hook here as well on this side. And then these three, why I keep it here is just what I'm going to wear for my videos that week. Just the top. So you'll be seeing me wear these tops in the intros or in my videos because I just like to plan ahead. And then we have this fake part that I also got from Kmart which I have another one here as well. And then that, I don't know where to put it. I don't know where to put it in this room as of recently, but that's from Kmart as well. That box is just a box that I need to get rid of. Pretty much what it says, dream big, speak the truth, work hard, treasure your friends and be awesome. Moving along to this side, that door goes to my bathroom and my bedroom. This chair is also from Victor's Choice. The pillow is from Kmart and that frame I printed it out myself. I just got that quote from Pinterest. But this is, you know, where you see where I usually film. Does it look familiar? This is where I usually film. And then if we move along, this is also from, oh no wait, this is from the warehouse. It was pretty cheap, it was like half price as well. I just love it. As you guys can see, I'm trying to go in for like a beige, gold, white and black theme in here. Well, I'm trying. And then over here, this is where I keep the rest of my makeup. That's where the other plant is and that door is just a closet because this room is actually meant to be a bedroom but my mum just uses that for storage so there's like a lot of crap in there and that just keeps locked. This is where I keep my makeup. I also got this tray as a gift. Just to show you guys the top, this is the remote for the Aircon, super blessed. This is so helpful. And then I have these blocks that say JC, which are my initials. I got those as a gift as well from my brother, and you can get them from Typo. This is a candle holder. This is from um, Kmart as well. Then I have a Chanel perfume, and then this pom pom. And then the book I have is Alexa Chang. It. Very famous coffee table book, so I just keep that here. And then we have my drawers. I'm gonna get back to that later, and we're gonna go to this drawer first. Okay, so starting off with my makeup collection. These containers are from Daiso. All my containers are from Daiso. They are the same. You can see here I, I had to burn a little bit of it because it wouldn't fit perfectly, but it's not a big deal. So in this tray here, I keep my primers. I only have two as of now. This one is by Bare Minerals. This one's by Mecca. You guys know I have my go-to primer there. Then moving on to this side, I have my foundations as of now. This is the Becca Ever Matte foundation, which is like my go-to foundation. Milani one, which I did a review on, and my Kat Von D one. Don't have many foundations on going on right now. This one here is my powders and my concealers. Yes, I do have a MAC powder here. As you can see, I'm almost finished with it. That's why I haven't threw it away. And then we just have uh, my pressed powders here and some of my loose powders, which I used to bake. Love the Laura Mercier one. This is the NARS one. Don't like that one as much. Have all my concealers. I got ALF, LA Girl, Bare Minerals, and Marc Jacobs. Moving on to here, this is where I keep my eye stuff. So I have the Better Than Six Mascara, my eyebrow powder by Anastasia, brow pencil by Colourpop, a NARS eye primer, brow gel, 
liquid eyeliner just a lot of like single eye stuff then moving on to here I do have some MAC paint pots these are so expensive I didn't want to throw them away yet I did use these when I went to the makeup school so I just have painterly I didn't want to throw them away and I couldn't give them away because it's just unhygienic if I did this guy I'm gonna actually throw away because it's the MAC gel liner but that's dried up and I also have this MAC pigment as well it's in reflex pearl it's really expensive I don't like I'm gonna probably gonna give this one away to someone I have my Milani pomade and some samples of some eye primers then in here I keep all my lip products that I use on the daily just my go-to nude shade so I have the sleek birthday suit here the Lily Mae MAC collabs my favorite color pop shades which is razor and brick just i don't know i don't want to go too thorough on it um but that's where i keep it and then back here i just have some eyeshadow palettes that i would use on the daily this is nas cadrona it's an eyeshadow duo and this is the sleek palette in this drawer here i keep my blushes i have this nas Sarah moon limited edition palette Too faced elf nyx and another nas oh, this is orgasm in there then we move on to this side these are all my highlighters not a lot but that's where i keep it then moving on i have my bronzers all my bronzers in there and now we're coming back to my makeup drawer i'm just going to show you guys draw by draw really briefly of what's inside so let's go to the first one this is always changing new things pop in it's just new products that i need to try there it came in the mail i just pop in here that i haven't sorted out that kind of stuff so that's where i put all my new makeup that's the first drawer and then the second drawer is, is my lip drawer so in this drawer here is where all my clean color liquid lipsticks are because i have a lot of them so i i just dedicated one drawer for that then here this little guy it's all my nude lipsticks and then in this one is all my nude lip glosses we got Too Faced, we got Bite, we got Gerard, we got Nas. Here are my misguided ones, Milani, Bare Minerals. Then towards the back, this is all my berry shades. Whether the lipsticks or lip glosses, I keep them all in one in this single container because I don't have much of it. Then in here, I have all my ColourPop ones, the lippy sticks. And also the ultra matte liquid lipsticks. In this bigger container at the back is all my reds and oranges. I have Kat Von D, Sleek, NYX, NARS, Hourglass, just a lot of different brands. Lip liners in here as well. That's all the red. So this is where the majority of my lip products are. And then in the next drawer is just random stuff. So in this one I have my makeup wipes. Um, the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm and a random beauty blender and then this drawer is where I keep all my lip balm or lip tint products I keep all of them in here so I have all of the wine lip tints, the sugar, lip balms, Nivea, the body shop, that kind of stuff then at the back is just all my glitters and then shadow shields, um, the wing stamp things I used to use I have face paint over here and just like random other stuff back there nothing important like a brush and some face spray it's just like a random draw this one and then for my next one is where i keep all my palettes so over here i have the wine eyeshadow palette makeup revolution my smashbox palette naked basics this is the misguided one this is sleek that's heart palette clean color some random palettes back down there this is also from MAC that I had in my makeup kit that I just it's too expensive to throw away you know what I mean um, but I don't even touch that um, the Sephora lip palette um, a BH cosmetics eyeshadow palette but this is where I keep most of my palettes. I don't want to stack them up too much or I'm not gonna know what I have so I like to be able to see everything that's on the bottom that's why in the second drawer I have another another drawer of palettes. So this is all the Naked palettes here, the Too Faced Chocolate palette, the Misguided um, Contour palette, and the Makeup Revolution Contour palettes here, and Blush palette. And then I keep four other ColourPop eyeshadows here because I don't know where else to put it. So there's still more space for more palettes back there and then in this one is where I keep boxes just in case I want to take um, flat lays with the block boxes because I do take makeup shots for my Instagram and sometimes it just looks better with a box I do keep the box just in case 
And then here in this drawer, I just have a couple of things that um, are gonna, I'm saving up for a giveaway. I'm gonna get a lot more better stuff, but I just collected a few things that I haven't used that I just wanna give away to you guys. Gonna be doing a giveaway when I reach 10K, so this drawer is just for giveaway stuff. And then in the last drawer, I just have more boxes. Just, you know, just in case I wanna take a photo, but I'm gonna probably clean this drawer out a little bit because I feel like it's just stacking up a bit too much. Hey guys, wraps up this video for today. I hope you guys did enjoy it and found it helpful, found some new inspiration, some ideas on how to storage and how to decorate your room. I'm not like the best person for interior designing, but you know, I did what I could and it's like, this room is me. So yeah, I hope you guys did find some inspiration from it. If I did leave anything out that I didn't mention where I got some stuff from, everything will be in the bottom bar down below. So just open that up and everything will be listed there. And if I did miss anything in the description bar on top of that, just leave a comment down below, let me know what I missed out and I'll reply to you. So yeah, if you did enjoy, please give this video a thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And yeah, until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.